Hi, Kirk here with the BMW Motor Rod Club of Northern Illinois bringing you another do-it-yourself video. This video is not BMW specific by any means. It is, has to do with the uh, the Cena units. Uh, I would imagine that like Cardo, things like that uh, are similar. So, you know, they come with these exceptionally crappy speakers, these things that look like uh, they look like they're about the size of a, a little bigger than a quarter and they're just about as thick. They have almost no sound that comes out of them, so I just want to show you a video on how you can massively upgrade your speakers. Uh, just what you do need to have is a solder gun and of course some tools to uh, get the headphones apart. Now these here, I'm probably just going to wind up cutting these off because the way that they're attached on the inside is, you can see in the video there, it's uh, they're pretty deep in there and there's just no reason to not just cut it and strip the wires and and go from there. But what you want to have now this is uh, particular to Cena. I don't know if, what the other ones are like. I'm not gonna make a video on those but you need to have some speakers that are gonna have at least the same ohm imp impedance as the these originals and these have about 32 ohms of impedance so you don't want to go anything uh, to the extreme in either direction because you'll you'll either chew through your battery too fast or you'll you just get poor sound you know it was designed to have 32 ohms of impedance so the ones that I found that work for me and work very good I've actually used them quite a bit uh, are, are these here now you, you buy yourself the ugliest pair of headphones imaginable which is this awful green color with white ear covers uh, but who cares right anyways they're Panasonic's the DJS 400s. Oh, there we go. So, Panasonic DJS 400. You can find these for about uh, 15 to 20 dollars on on eBay. Uh, whether they're brand new or used, it really doesn't matter. They come apart very easy, and uh, they they work just outstanding. You can, you won't believe how much of a better sound you'll get and more volume than these crappy little garbage speakers so what you got to do here is you take them apart if you do buy these you just you know you take the earpiece off and you'll see you got you got two screws here two little uh, Phillips screws so we just pull those off and then the speaker will come out and then you've got a couple solder points in the back so just take a note on here when you unsolder this thing I'm just going to go ahead and clip this out of here clip it off for now because I'm going to have to trim this, the speaker cover down so that it fits in the helmet so you just take a note you know here's a red side or no this is a, this would be the ground side or the the ground wire because it's a bare wire and then you've got the, the positive which is a uh, you know your insulated wire it's a black one and then you just want to match them up to the corresponding wires that are in here and I think there's a black and red wire in here so the black wire will go on this side the red wire will go on the insulated side and go from there so I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw and trim it down I'm going to trim it down to just around the uh, the diameter of the speaker. I'm going to try not to get into this area here because this is what holds this part here is glued on and it will hold this cover on. You don't want to take this cover off of here because there's a really thin membrane of some kind underneath this that it's not going to benefit you. In fact, it'll just you'll just wind up wrecking the speakers if you try to remove this and you know and try to use it without use it with this cover on here if you can fit this whole thing into your speaker into your speaker hole on your on your helmet then go ahead but you know so trim it to your needs I'm putting this into a, a, a showy quest helmet so I've done this before and I know what uh, what it's going to take to get that done so I'm gonna go trim this and I'll go from there okay so I was able to get this wire out of here it's not that hard. You just take a little, uh, a, a little wire cutter, a little sharp-ended wire cutter, and you trim right here. 
and just pull the wire it will uh, it will slide out of there so now I'm gonna unsolder these connections so I'm just gonna put some tension on on the wires and just touch the uh, the solder on there and it should just pop right off once the gun heats up there's one there's two now I don't have to do any trim work I got them both off and throw that right in the garbage that's where they should have started off is right in the garbage Now we take our new speaker. And unsolder these connections. So we're gonna remember it. So we got a red and white. So the red wire is gonna go over here on the positive side. This is where the, the black wire is. This one's just a uh, it's just a bare copper wire, but I'm gonna unsolder it anyway. Because I don't need that on there. going to go ahead and solder those connections back on. I'm just going to add just a little bit of flux to it just to make sure it, it adheres the first time. Okay, so that's it. So we just resoldered these connections. Get a piece of uh, the corresponding, the, the correct type side of Velcro. Lay that on there. Stick them back in your helmet. That's a huge upgrade. Trust me, it's well worth the money. So uh, go out and get yourself some crappy headphones and enjoy a whole new listening experience.